What's up everybody, it's your boy Ryan here, so I know, I know, it's been a long time since I posted a video or any updates about what's happened to me and I'm sorry really, it's just life sometimes hits you hard but don't worry, uh, I think I've found a schedule for me to work on uh, from now on I will probably do 3 videos a week if I can but I'm gonna put my best if I cannot post anything, I will try to go for two videos a week. Uh, the reason is I'm still studying and working, so I had to balance like me working, studying and posting in YouTube like the same thing. So yeah, and I'm, <laughs> I like I will try my best and promise I'm not gonna do like just go out without any updates. But don't worry, I'm back with a new video. So, with no longer ado, let's begin. Man, I really suck at doing introduction stuff. So, man, let's begin with our what if. Third POV or point of view. As Izuku stood on a rooftop a bit away from his mother, he sighted. As he saw through the window, as he watched the TV which was running reports of everything that was going on. Hopefully I can come back one day mother, Izuku thought, but he didn't have much hope in that wish. To be honest with himself as everything was getting so complex and troubling, the moment that the league gained control over Gigantimachia, if that's how you spell his name or say it sorry, was a fundamental game changer but what was unseen nor predicted was the league gaining an entire army that allowed them to challenge the government itself. After a short flight due to a speed at 60% of one for all with a float quirk, Izuku made it above Yue where he quickly descended with a hood on as he went to one of the outside access points to the tunnels that Nizu had created for himself that he gave Izuku access to. Izuku entered the tunnel and after a few minutes, he entered Nizu's home to find Nizu Gran Torino both in the apartment, waiting for him with the looks of worry. Hey, Izuku said as he entered the room more and sat down on the couch in Nizu's home. Nizu's home, if anyone forgot what uh, like it looked like, I might put an image to uh, like the design, okay? So, Nizu and Gran Torino both moved to sit near him as Gran Torino asked why Izuku hadn't checked in for the past 3 weeks, which he asked in a subtle tone voice since he was just glad to see Izuku again. With no contact for so long, Izuku sided and told Nizu to get the Prime Minister and President of the commotion since they needed to hear the entire story as well, since things have gone horrible which made them worry about, but he reassured them he wasn't compromised as a mole which made them less tense but still a bit tense. After a while all of them were on the screen in Nizu's home as Izuku made them kick anyone out of their offices which they said they didn't have anyone in it anyway. Good. To start off with the UA mole situation Izuku said that caught all of their attention. As it stands UA had no mole that belonged directly to Shigaraki and the League. If All For One somehow had one then Shigaraki doesn't know since he told me that how they did the USJ and the camp. The USJ was done via destroying the gate with reporters which caught the staff attention then Kurugiri wrapped in. They got the coordinates for the staff room via uh, past UA students which span across all departments so it isn't unbelievable. The camp, well, they used a simple, uh, really, uh, plan in all honesty. The UA summer camp happened generally near the same time, so they just had someone watching for the buses, which then Kurugiri just followed from behind at distance until they had the new location for the camp. Izuku said as he explained, they waited a few days for the staff guard to drop before they launched an attack. So we can bring an end to the league as you can give us their current location and we can just send some heroes to end this. Your mission is done, the prime minister said which caused Izuku to laugh and confuse them all. I effing wish, dear god I wish it was that simple now but no. Izuku said as he grabbed 
his head with both arm and put it down near his legs. Nizu asked what happened that caused him to go silent for three weeks which Izuku tensed a bit at which they all noticed. You remember how I made a direct report to Gran Torino about the doctor and Gigantomachia? Izuku said and they all nodded their heads. Well, I spent a month and a half with the league trying to tame the giant and make him submit to Shigaraki. At the end of that we didn't get it to work but that is when things derailed out of control of original mission. It turns out that, drumroll please, the Meta Liberation Army is back and in large mass. Izuku said and everyone was silent as he threw his arm up in the air for dramatic effect. Nizu at this point had dropped his teacup from the surprise and shock of what he just heard, while the other were starting at, like staring at him sorry, with wide eye. You, you have to be kidding, as the prime minister which Izuku said he wasn't kidding. Sadly they obtained gra like Giren, the infor information broker which forced the league hand as they wanted to destroy the league. It was either the league goes and arrives at the MLA location to get destroyed in a fight or they would leak the league's location to the government. The league chooses to take the fight to them and you have all seen the result of that. Izuku said and they looked confused until Nizu spoke up. Daika City? Nizu asked and Izuku said he was correct. That was the result of the battle between both sides. Any guess on who won? Izuku asked and Gran Torino said the League of Villain which Izuku confirmed. Indeed, against an organization with over 116,000 members, the League of Villains won. We also tamed Giant Timakia as well due to the fight and many changes have happened. Twice has overcome the physical barrier and will now be classified as an s rank villain as he can make clones of himself which can clone themselves and so on. He nearly unstoppable army, Toga can now use the quirks of anyone, she gained the blood of it, she is transformed as them and Shigaraki now can decay things without all five fingers as well as decay anything touching anything he was decaying to start with. If you all noticed the big the big hole in Daika city. Well that is from him going all out with his decay quirk in one large blast, Izuku said and they were all terrified of the information they had received. Um, there is also the fact that the doctor is giving Shigaraki even more power now, he has the scientific research to transfer quirks into new bodies but he has to strengthen the bodies via painful surgery and experiments to allow the body to house the new quirk. Shigaraki is currently undergoing said process to retrieve all for one quirk since he had a copy made a while back and the original will be placed inside of Shigaraki. So we need to find the location of the lab itself which I know he worked as a doctor somewhere in Japan since he made an offhand comment about running the hospital he worked in. So he's still actively practicing and he looked the same age as he did when he saw me at the age of 4 so he likely has a quirk not declared on the quirk list, it's likely how all for one has lived for so long. Izuku said and the president of the commotion spoke up as she said they would need to start gathering all of the heroes which Izuku stopped her from acting on which confused her. So you know heroes are compromised, I don't know how many but the Meta Liberation Army which is now called the Paranormal Liberation Front due to the uh, like uh, merger has pro heroes, uh, cops and many others on their payrolls. Sliding Go is one example of pro heroes that work for the PLF. Redistro, the former leader is the CEO of the Dentrit while Feel Good ENC is also connected to the PLF as well due to one of their board members being a part of the PFL. Izuku said as he explained all of the uh, all of the people and companies that he knew that were connected to the MLA or PLF. Izuku explained that they will need to build up force and ensure no spies were placed inside of ranks otherwise the PLF will learn of it right away. 
It's why I didn't make contacts because of their network abilities. I can't risk making contacts as such or as much as I would uh, wish now. The league wouldn't suspect me of anything but some of the other that are part of the PLF are more uh, skeptical like the villains known as uh, Skeptic who is the board member of uh, Feel Good Inc. Izuku explained that as he knew he couldn't pull out of the mission. Not now with so much online even though the original goal no longer exists. Everyone was silent for a while before Izuku spoke up again and suggested that Nizu turn the school into a more secure place as he has the families of heroes course students uh, move into campus so they will be guarded the hero course students will need to get involved in the war this will be like too large for just the heroes along the, to deal with due to the sheer side of war that was coming i hate to say it but they will need to get stronger as we only have 4 months before Shigaraki awakens, we can't allow that, Izuku said and they were silent at what Izuku said as he described the overall size and destructive force of enemy that they would be fighting against. Izuku provided them the location of the mountain villa where the main force of the PLF was stationed as he remained reminding them to find the hospital or the lab that the doctor was working out of since he keeps it a secret quite well. Soon the meeting came to an end and Izuku stood up from the couch. Izuku told Gran Torino and Izu that Shigaraki knew the truth of one for all now since he had no option left since the doctor forced his hand uh, before Shigaraki went under. Hopefully he will take my warnings in full about the echo of the past users of all the quirks since all for one will be inside of him the moment the quirk is implemented. I want to save Tinko but I don't know how to anymore. I see so much of myself in him and him in me due to the parallel in our lives that I would go so far as to call him an actual friend even though we are on the opposite sides. Though I know what will need to be done if I if push comes to shove since I will not let him kill those I care about here at UA which is a goal of his since he wants to finish everything all might stands for in this society which he has the right to blame for his creation since no one helped him for so long before all for one came around. Izuku said and Gran Torino only reminded him that everyone can reach a point of no return. Izuku will need to figure out if Shigaraki has already passed the point or not which Izuku didn't know if he had. Like a city and everything he heard so far made him believe he was at the edge and not yet fully over it. For Izuku at least but for the others it may already be past that line. Izuku moved around a bit and grabbed some water to drink as he asked how everyone was doing at UA. Nizu informed him how the entire class of 1A was still looking into him being forced into his situation which made Izuku laugh a bit but felt warm about it. They did talk about how they are getting more aggressive in trying to get information out of Gran Torino and Izuku shackled at the old man's effort of hiding away from them. Are you going to tell them? Izuku asked and they shrugged. It was a risk as one slip up to someone untrustworthy. It could lead to Izuku's death which Izuku found fair. Keep it from them as long as you can then because I don't want them feeling as if they failed me because let's be honest with ourselves. Izuku said as he looked at Nizu Gran Torino with a sad smile on his face. I'm not likely to walk away alive from this with how massive this mission turned out to be. I'm pushing 60 to 65 with my quirk right now but still just fighting in that city was massive uphill battle. If Shigaraki obtained the power of all for one combined with uh, Gigantemechia then I'm good as dead. Izuku said letting the reality of how dangerous this mission had become with everything that had happened. Nizu just lowered his head and Izuku walked up to him and hugged him slightly. As Izuku knew the principal was blaming himself for Izuku taking the mission. Izuku asked Gran Torino to let his mother know how he was doing and asked Nizu to move her into campus even though Izuku's entire situation was like this since he didn't want her to be caught in the war without help which Nizu said he would do once everything was prepared.
Izuku said that he needed to return soon since it's been a while since he had left as such Izuku left Yue without being seen and gained like some distance before he removed the communication devices out of the thick lead box he had with him to hit the, the device and the block communications so he couldn't be tracked or listened into by the doctor with that guys i know this video will be short it's just me preparing myself for the um, upcoming videos because i literally forgot how to record and edit the audio i will try my best right now to do any editing for the audio and to minimize the noise in the background like one month without posting is really a bad thing to do but yeah um i don't know what to say anymore so ryan is back now i will be trying to do more series and videos if i can with no longer ado i usually don't ask this much of you guys but can we at least get this video to 50 like for now yeah <laughs> if you can get this video to 50 like i would appreciate it and thanks so as i always say if i remember my outro so yeah i think i remembered it so as i always say stay home stay safe wash your hands spend the time with the most precious people you have don't forget to take care of yourself because you are the most individual person we care about. And see you next video. Peace out. Bye bye. Tell me in the comments if I did my uh, outro correctly. And see ya. <laughs>